Hello, good body and tubers, and welcome back to episode two of Let's Play Third Age Total War with the Moss Expansion Plaque. With me, Blue Ankylo, playing as the Orcs of Gundabad. Now, we have an interesting decision here. Um, generals, do we want them or not? The reason I usually don't take them is the upkeep is quite high. And, you know, the money is going to be a bit of an issue. But, keep in mind, we are really low on troops right now. We cannot recruit anything useful, anything strong, anyway. All we can recruit is junky fodder troops. At about turn 40, we'll get some trolls that will help. But, for the most part, right now, all we can get is totally basic um, throwaway goblins. The, the general bodyguards are quite strong. Um, so I think I'm going to take him and just throw him in the army. Um, which is a little bit different than my strategy for uh, when I'm playing as Dale or Gondor, one of the normal good factions. I generally don't recruit very many like that. Um, but I think for us, this is actually going to help out a lot. So let's start moving our main army. This is our big one. And um, still got a little bit of money, so I'll put a couple towers down here and there. It looks like there's actually a rebel settlement down south. Maybe I should go that way first. Maybe this guy should go explore. There, there is certainly, you can tell by the, the borders here, uh, Gundabad, High Elves, Misty Mountain Orcs, uh, Rebels. So somewhere down here is another settlement that we could potentially try to rush for. And this guy is fairly close, so maybe maybe I will go that way. I don't know where it is. Um, I really don't know this area terribly well. Um, so that might be a plan. And then on this side, the troops are a little bit... There's not as many, but I have trolls. So I'm assuming that as long as this place doesn't... Yeah, it's not going to rebel. We'll be fine. We're going to head... Let's see. The border here, I believe, is with Eriador already. So I'm going to head north and try to pick up some... Uh, Wasting all my money on watchtowers. Uh, last time as Dale, I, I didn't build enough watchtowers early, so kind of had to run around afterwards. This time I'm going to try to start with them a little bit better. And I mean, heck, this place is already built. There's nothing else to build here at all. Although we're at another round of recruiting... So that is good. It's already been five turns. Well, turn seven, I guess, but you know what I mean. So that is a good sign. Um, what else do we want to do? There's not a whole lot to do early on, really. I mean, oh yeah, these guys. Yeah, okay. Wargs, you are heading that way. Okay. And Spy, yeah, I'm going to send him up here because I'm not 100% sure what's going to have... Um, oh, I forgot I like... Am I zoomed in? Oh, yeah, I'm already zoomed in. I like to play with it zoomed in a little bit so you can see the map. Um, what was I saying? I'm not sure if one of the ones up here has a garrison script or not, so the spy will help double check. Let's uh, continue on to turn eight. So, yeah, as you may have noticed, um, whenever I break episodes and just in the general, t when I make cuts, I tend to skip to the next turn just to save you guys too many of these end turn uh, things. Um, if you didn't know, Third Age, and especially Moss with all the submod scripts, uh, can certainly lengthen your end turn times, so it will slow down your game a little bit. It's not as bad as the uh, the newer Total Wars, though. I actually find Rome Total War, the end turns take forever. Uh, so this is still not as bad as that, in my opinion, but uh, maybe I'm just prejudiced. I like uh, Third Age more than Rome. <laughs> anyway, we're building stuff as quickly as we can, really. And we should have a bunch of troops, or a few lousy stalkers. Um, Got to keep an eye on your income. We're still in positive, positive 2,500. We're not rich, but we're we're doing okay. Now, I think I will leave Gundabad mildly defended, because I think if the dwarves come... Well, heck, if the goblins have Dane's Halls, I think the dwarves have to fight all the way across before they can get there. So maybe I won't worry about defending here just for now. Uh, let's just bring our troops over and try to... Uh, actually, you know what I should do? Let's go with a little bit of... Where's our border? Okay, there's our border. Let's build a watchtower right on the edge. And that way we'll have a little bit more of a warning if someone's coming to kill us. Um, and at playing as orc factions, I mean, like I said, I'm not uh, as experienced with these kinds of armies as, uh, you know, Gondor and Rohan and all the good guys. It's a different style of play. So we're definitely going to be uh, using um, sort of... Uh, Zerg rush techniques where we just try to, to, to win battles quickly and we're not going to play very much defense at all. Now there's one, Ruskia Vine. Ruskia Vine, I don't know. Doesn't look like it's very well defended so that should be easy enough. Uh, looks like there's a bridge over here probably. Or at least a crossing. 
Alright. I think there's two. I think there's one over here and one up there, if I remember correctly. Um, ah, you'll catch up with them next turn, probably. Alright, and I said I was going to send these guys south, so let's give it a try. I'm actually going to go right about there, build a tower. There's a road. That's good. That means we can follow the road and see if we find a town. So yeah, let's continue on. Definitely going with the rush technique early on. Um, I mean, defending our towns is not going to be the main thing anyway. I almost rather just give them up and try to fight armies in the field more than anything. Because in enclosed spaces, uh, we'll do really, really poorly. Uh, we need to be able to uh, hoard around them with larger armies. Sort of, uh, oh yeah, no, that kind of mission is crap. It's not going to happen. Rebel armies, that's not fair. These guys have better orcs than we do as rebels. Ugh. All right, get back in your town quick. Um, anyway, that lets us see a little bit better what's going on. You guys. There's no roads through here right now, so it's really slow trucking. This place, I guess we're never going to get roads. Well, I guess down south. Yeah. The, the thing is, this this region is all around here through the mountain pass, and if I can't get it to become a wooden castle, <laughs> I can't get roads. Alright, what have we got? Really low on money, of course, but that's to be expected. A grain exchange will help a little bit. You can see how much it'll show up here. This is going to make us an extra 12 bucks a turn. Woo! Isn't that amazing? Hunting lodge. Now, the mines will make a big difference. The mines will give us an extra 330, so that will make a good improvement. Um, and I'll queue up the grain exchange while we're here. So, as much as we're very poor, there's not much to build, I guess. So, you know, that's okay. Alright, so what's down here? Let's see if I can find... Hopefully we can get here before whoever else takes it. And, I mean, it should be interesting. Okay, spy, right. I want to see... Is there anyone in here? Oops, wrong, wrong one. Oh, come on, spy. Just I don't want to lose him, but I want him to get really close. Here we go. So, reduced building capacities, but no garrison script, so that's good. And their troops look pretty weak again, so we should be okay. And wargs, getting there. Reinforcements coming up from this side, yeah, that's the stuff. Uh, you guys, alright, yeah. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to queue these guys up to head up this way too. Ah, eh, we're probably safe enough as it is. <laughs> Rohan and Harad are at war. At war. That's, that's okay, I guess. It doesn't really matter to us too much. Let's keep blasting through as quick as we can. I have a feeling this early, early game is going to be fine. We're going to take over a bunch of rebel settlements quickly. But as soon as like a proper army shows up from the elves or the dwarves, we're going to be in big trouble. So um, as much as it's looking really good so far, taking over a bunch of settlements, uh, don't get your hopes up too high. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to take out Eriador quickly. Um, they won't have very good troops. Get ready for fighting. So um, that will help. But elves and dwarves, honestly, I'm a little bit scared. I'm not quite sure how well that will go. Alright, so you guys are going to have to siege that one. Spy is going to continue on looking for the next... There it is. Look at that. No, uh... doesn't look like they get any uh, garrison script here either, which is really good. So... <laughs> That's the main thing for us. No garrison script. And unfortunately, of course, our buildings do not ever get advantage of it. Like, we don't actually get... Uh, you know what? I'll retrain first and then go for the second army later. Um, yeah, our, even if we have it, like Karndum, you, you probably already know this, but I'll just go over it quick for the new viewers. Um, it says capability to gather local tropes, but only for the AI, which sucks. It, it would be nice if we could take advantage of that as well. But uh, such is life. The AI is dumb, so you know, you gotta give us some advantages. I think we'll go for roads next in Karndum. This place, growth doesn't really matter at all because it's already a citadel. So um, I'm not really too concerned about building these sorts of things. Mines might be a good idea. We'll see if we have enough money for mines. They're not as good as the Gundabad mines, but they're okay. Roads. Now nah, we're going to go with roads first. This is too much of a pivotal reinforcement place from our capital. Well, our main recruiting place. Roads first. And then we'll go for the mines for a bit of money. And then maybe finally we'll go after some, some troop upgrades again. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. So can we start? Uh, no, can't quite start sieging this turn. Next turn. Oh, not quite. Don't forget. Uh, left or right? Or left or down? What do you guys think? Where is the settlement? 
I really don't know. Maybe I should have sent the spy this way. Hey, I found it! Horwell. Now, this place has got a bit of an army. Still just a village. We could attack it. Should I attack it? Uh, what have they got? Axemen again. Spear militia. They've got a couple archers, but they're not very good. Uh, we'll take some losses, but I think, especially with three generals, I think we'll be able to smush them pretty well. Yeah, let's do it. Managed to get here before anyone else, so let's take it. It's still giving us 5 to 2, more than twice as powerful, so should be good. We could do a night attack, but whatever. I like being able to see what I'm doing still. Alright. Why? I don't understand why these Pays and X-Men only have 60 soldiers. It seems strange, but I guess they have javelin throwing abilities, so for some reason they're really small units. Anyway, let's do this thing. I will do this battle for sure! Battle time! And I promise to remember to deploy my troops slightly smarter this time around, instead of making you guys watch me walk around the city. <laughs> Alright. Weather doesn't really matter. Actually, I guess we could have waited for rain, because our archers... I mean, these guys aren't going to do anything. If they get, like, ten kills, I'll be impressed. Okay, so this is a nice straightforward village. Very quick rush to the center, which is what we're going to be doing. So we'll have to come in that side. So what I will do is I'll split the generals up. There will be a general on each side with, uh, how much have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six troops, six infantry. So it will be a one general, oh man, look at these giant groups of soldiers. One and two reinforcements for each side. We'll, we'll attack by three flanks, which I think sounds fair. Sounds fun, right? So we'll put these guys over here general behind them. I The general units are stronger, but they're also more valuable, so I don't really want to lose. I don't want the generals to die. <laughs> and I'm probably going to not use the uh, wargs for this battle, because they're too valuable to waste on a melee, uh, a long melee battle, because they're, uh, like I showed you guys their stats, they die very quickly. Although, I mean, look at the size of them for cavalry. That's uh, pretty amazing. So in a field battle, uh, they'll be good for chasing down archers and routers and all kinds of stuff. And archers, whatever, I'll just... I don't think they're going to really contribute. Alright, so actually all I'm going to do is like A attack. <laughs> just about. No, I'll, I'll move these guys over so they're close to the right entrance. Uh, I don't want them to be in range of the archers, of course. But uh, I'll get everyone close so that the attack is a little bit more uh, coordinated at the same time. And then we're just going to rush everyone in and, and uh, you know, A move from StarCraft. Just send everyone in as quick as you can. Uh, and archers, whatever. I don't even think I want to use them, honestly. They'll probably just kill more of our own arcs, orcs than anything else, but... I'll put them over there, see if they have the range. They will have a really short range as well. One missile attack plus short range means practically useless. Let's speed up the movement phase again. Doesn't look like the AI is going to leave, which is to be expected, honestly. Yeah, looks like they can shoot about five feet, give or take. <laughs> so, um... Back when I was playing Dale, any archer worth their salt from the Dale army could hit anything in the town square from here. From the orcs, not so much. Alright, so let's pause it. We're going to send all these guys straight in this way. Attack that guy. We're going to send everyone from the other side to attack. Well, somewhere in there, I guess. Doesn't really matter. And then the front army. I guess. Oh, right. There's That's the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is send these guys towards that side, sorry. Just uh, changing my directions, of the targets a little bit. Anyway, we'll let them run in. I mean, this is this is going to be a pretty traditional battle for us as the Gundabad orcs. We're just going to be, you know, whatever you call this, Zerg rush, um, horde rush, you know, for the horde. It's all about just surrounding and uh, hopefully winning out through sheer numbers more than anything. The, the, the problem I'm going to foresee is that our frame rate is going to suck um, because it's going to be a very large number of troops for all these battles. So I don't know how many of these I will record over the course of the uh, Let's Play. I'm not going to cut out too much, obviously. You know, I want to have lots of good stuff uh, to show you guys. But I kind of think a lot of the tactics will be much weaker for this kind of series. Because, I mean, you see what I did here. I just surrounded them and we'll take a lot of losses because, you know, their troops are weak, but our troops are as well. And, you know, that's just how it's going to go. So, double speed. I'd like to run it at six times speed, but, well, let's show you what's going on in the battle for a little while. You know, I mean, 
We've got some lousy orcs in here, goblins, fighting some humans, poor peasants trying to defend their cities. I mean, uh, this is pretty standard, right? You know, we're just surrounding them with thousands of goblins and hoping we win, basically. <laughs> I think our generals will do quite well, um, so I'm expecting them to get fairly well experienced, because um, they'll get lots of kills and they shouldn't lose too many dudes. Uh, maybe I should start sending them first, I don't know. I guess we'll see how it goes. Looks like their archers are still firing. I, I kind of doubt they're going to do too much damage, though. The one thing that would have been different is if we were in the field, I could have got this entire army to rout, probably. But because of the wargs, we could have flanked around and scared them off pretty quick. But in a city battle, you know, it takes a lot longer. We have to kill all these guys, basically. I mean, we're doing good. Lost 9%. They're up to 60% almost losses. Let's speed things up. Just rush through. My apologies, of course, for the frame rate. I don't believe there is a computer that can handle large third age battles without lag at six times. I, I just don't think it will happen. Also of note, if you were wondering, um, you can actually change the decimal place if you hold shift and click the arrows. <laughs> so if you really want fine-tuned speed control, it's possible, but kind of pointless. <laughs> just hold shift while you hit minus or plus. <laughs> I just figured I'd show you that while there's nothing going on, really. Our orcs are pretty much just enveloping them and killing them all. I mean, eh, you know how it is. I imagine our orc fellers are doing fairly well. They seem to be pretty strong with their two-handed giant axes. And they probably have armor piercing or something, too, so that helps. Um, the rest of them are pretty lousy. Yay, everyone's happy. That's a pretty good win still. Only lost 200 dudes. I'm okay with that. So there you go. You got to see a quick battle. That didn't take very long. Yeah, I, uh, I'll definitely be cutting out some of these in the future, just the quick ones, but uh, yeah, uh, early on in the campaign, the series, I'll show you a bunch of little battles, because there won't be much else going on. Alright, we've got Horwell, and again, we'll go with this stuff, and try to get it to turn into a town. Now, what is this? We are starting to stretch out, yeah, we're into, like, traditional Eriador land already, uh, I believe, or Arnor land, let's call it, <laughs> men land land of the men um <laughs> anyway let's uh actually i don't know who gets to recruit rudar rodar Pfft, i have no idea i guess i could go through the building browser and see if we get special units here um it doesn't look like it um uh, if you're wondering orc fellers are our upgraded barracks there you go or calbradiers from our larger barracks so these guys are coming and they'll be a little bit better but we can't recruit any yet uh, anything interesting here? Goblin trackers. Oh yeah, there are slightly better archers. And when I say slightly, I mean just barely. Just, just, like, if these guys are a 1 out of 10, these guys are a 1.2 out of 10. <laughs> um, anyway, I think that's about it. There's just doesn't look like there's anything good here. I don't know if we're actually going to get any a area of recruitment lands. Now, troll shaws. You think we should be able to recruit trolls here, seeing as this is where the troll shaws is. But uh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> okay, killed them. Did I actually lose one of my generals? Oh, you guys suck. I didn't even notice that. One of my generals died. Oh, you orcs are useless. I'm not impressed at all. And he was my faction heir too. <laughs> oh well. Such is life, I guess. Alright, so let's start uh, the... Oh, next turn, right. Let's just continue. I can't believe one of our generals died fighting the peasants. Ugh. Disappointing. Oh, well, it saves us an upkeep, right? Every orc is is uh, um, replaceable. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting to start losing generals this quickly. Because <laughs> their entire unit goes then. <sighs> Shucks. Oh, well. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. Bad luck. Took an arrow to the knee and retired. <sighs> of turn. We're still making enough money to get by. Butchery. Oh, spies. I do like having a few spies. I guess I'll go for it. I can afford a little bit. Leather tanner I'm not too concerned about. Well, I mean, technically, let's see. Uh, leather armor. So they'll go from 11 defense to 12. Alright, fine. Let's do it. Queue it up. It's not like we've got anything else to build. We can now recruit more troops in our Karndooms. It's our recruiting capital. Alright, anything else to recruit? Pro 
Probably not. Oh, archers! Yay! Do I even care? No, I don't care. Money. We're making three grand still. Not bad. Alright, continue up. Continue that direction. You guys need to begin your siege. Pretty small castle. Um, two turns for him. I guess I'll attack once this guy gets there, just so he's got a few more troops. That'll probably be good enough. Now, what are we going to do from here? From uh, Horwell. Um, let's zoom in again. I lost my map. So, definitely elves. The Imladris controls all of this area. Um, the, so they're probably going to attack. They've got nowhere else to attack. They can either attack the Orcs of the Misty Mountains or the Orcs of Gundabad. <laughs> I don't imagine we're going to hold on to Horwell for very long. But I'll take what money we can get while we own it. So that'll do for now. And I'll leave... You know, I'm just going to leave the lousy no archers here. here. No here. That, that'll be fine. And we're going to continue our rush probably this direction. I don't know. Do I want to declare war on Eriador already? I was kind of hoping to take all these little rebel settlements and then uh, head south into Eriador after that. That was my strategy. Let's... There was a... There was a... Yeah, there was a... Uh, a split in the roads. So that's what I wanted to check out. Also, we can recruit some more lame troops. Might as well pick them up. Yeah, so definitely Eriador on the border there. Eriador and... Um, high Elves. Um, started our siege. I guess there's not much else to do. Wow, these turns are going so much quicker. <laughs> and after being at turn 130 on Dale, it's it's amazing how much faster the early turns go on. Um, you guys remember, if you were watching Dale, it was like one turn per episode, give or take. Now I can get like six or seven turns every episode. It's pretty sweet. I like the progress. I like things to keep moving. I mean, look how large our our uh, empire is. We've already like doubled in size, except that they're all just villages. So you know, whoop de woo, basically. I don't even care. Like I said, if someone sneaks in and steals it back, I don't like. We're not really losing anything, right? <laughs> Hopefully, they pay themselves off just with the three hundred income a turn, and that's good enough. All right, construction, of course. That place is done. Cold fellas, yeah, you can have some more troops. Why not? And Horwell, yeah, good enough for now. Uh, okay, that's good. And Karndum. Right, more troops. I like it. Should I send... I'm actually probably going to send more of these guys north, because that army's not super large. And I think having more dudes will help. Uh, there isn't much up this way. It's just a really long road back to here. So, um... Oh, the rebels are taking our tower. Oh, those cursed rebels. Let's, uh, let's just put another tower here. Just for... So you can see the rebels that have taken our tower. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's smart thinking there, Blue. Alright, that'll be enough troops heading that way, I think. Uh, what else can we do? These guys... Oh yeah, they can keep moving. I think I'll build... Yeah, I'll build a tower right on the border. And then we're going to head kind of north and around. Um, well, actually, I don't really know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of attacking Eriador pretty soon. Um, this army might be large enough, actually, to start with. I don't know. Leave a comment. I'll probably take a break after recording this episode. So uh, that will give you guys a chance to catch up. And, uh, you know, maybe you can tell me. Should I just attack, kill them all right away? That's probably what everyone will say. Just massacre everything until you run into an army of elves and then you're dead. But, you know, that's basically how this is going to go. We're going to do really, really well until the elves attack us. <laughs> um, strategies for dealing with elves. Um, I don't think I have any units that can counter elves. Um, the, the wargs are quick, but the archers will kill them. They will kill them. I will take another general, though. Why not? Um, yeah, the, the, I, I don't really think our... Um, like, you know, the wargs, they've got such horrible defense. The arrows will just, like, by the time they get their charge on, I think the elves will just eliminate the entire unit, the way I see things. Mines, yeah. Mine. Look at the income over here, 1,100. Good. And now the rebels can bounce back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Keep them on their toes. We will start recruiting more troops. I don't really care about the archers. but Recruiting everywhere all the time. That's the way of the orc. 
because if we didn't recruit all the time, I think we would not make it very long. Okay. Oh, that's our... Oh, our allies. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, that looks kind of like an orc army, but that's not my orc army. I don't know what these guys are up to. They're our buddies. Hopefully they're our buddies. Um, you know, if you guys just took out the elves really early, I would be pretty happy with that. Do you think you guys could do that? <laughs> I think that's asking a little bit much of the Misty Mountain Orcs. Um, I think I actually want to wait. Yeah, they're going to attack us next turn anyway, so I'm just going to wait till they come out of their castle. It'll make it easier. We'll take less losses. Fighting in streets, not our strength. Um, I think I could make it to that battle, yeah. You guys? Oh yeah, you guys got to move. Let's head up this way. We'll put another tower here. We actually got enough money for towers. I'm kind of happy. Um, yeah, good. Anything else I'm missing? Forgetting about? Probably not. Got another general there. Whatever. Uh, yeah, good enough. Okay, let's end our turn. And we'll get attacked next turn, so should be exciting. We'll do one more quick battle and finish the next turn and end our episode. I think that will be good. And then I'll let you guys catch up with the videos and uh, maybe have some suggestions for strategy. I think, I think taking Eriador is the main goal, of course. And then after that, I mean, if the elves don't declare war on us after we take Eriador, then we will focus on the, dwar the dwarves. But I'm expecting the elves will attack us by then. So we'll have to start thinking about how to deal with them. And I don't know how. Honestly, I don't have any good ideas yet. They just gave up? <laughs> they just gave up. Well, that was easy. <laughs> exactly. Good. <laughs> they just gave up. Uh, all right. Well, you know, uh, I won't. I won't complain. I forgot to move my spy a couple turns, but anyway, you know, he's gonna check this place out. We already know that they don't. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe they didn't even fight us. Uh, you guys get in there for now, and I think one of you. Well, next turn, one of them can follow the main army, and I guess yeah, that was that was really easy. <laughs> I can't believe they just gave up. I was gonna show you a battle. Well, I guess then we can get a couple more turns. <laughs> Ah, uh, foolish humans. Butchery. Uh, I guess I forget about that, because villages, they don't have a lot of uh, stocks. They give up really quickly. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, you know what? Let's just send these guys down this way, and then we'll be ready to attack quicker, I think. Um, let's send these guys as well. And anybody else to recruit? Having to go through and set, check your recruiting every turn is a bit of a pain, but... Uh, you know, uh, archers. Ah, fine. It's better than nothing. Oh, I forgot to actually double check. <laughs> I might be able to uh, build something here, of course, with all of our tons of money. I know. Okay, another Mott and Bailey that will probably never grow, but uh, such is life. Well, it's, it's kind of the problem is we're rushing all these settlements that won't do anything. Villages, Mott and Baileys. We've only got one that's any decent size of a city. Um, I mean, I think Gundabad will grow. 2.5. Yeah, this one won't take too long. But, um, you know, in general, most of our cities are going to take forever to, to, to actually output anything is the trick. So anyway, I guess I can do a couple more turns. We're getting close to our 30 minute marker anyway, but, uh, you know, seeing as you missed that battle, maybe I'll attack... What's it called? Pitcaranta? Hmm. <laughs> Strange names. Strange. Well, I'm pretty happy with our... Uh, uh, rebel settlement taking. I mean, not that they're very valuable, but uh, we've captured almost. If if we get Pitakranta or whatever the heck it's called, I will think we've managed to take more than I could have hoped for. Actually, usually the AI gets some of the rebel settlements really quickly, but we managed to get to Horwell first, which was cool. Uh, and if I'm pronouncing that wrong, <laughs> maybe it's <laughs> Horrible. I should rename it. <laughs> it's a horrible name. Uh, yeah, we we failed. I don't care. We've built roads. Yeah, that'll help. That'll certainly speed up our reinforcements. Um, so that will be good for us. And building, queued everything up basically. So that's no big deal. Gundabad. Um, sure. We'll have a spy on this side. That way we can send them over to the dwarves. That actually makes some sense. So that's, that's probably smart. I'm impressed that our money, ha we haven't gone bankrupt yet. We're still making almost three grand. That's pretty good. All right. Can I actually attack? No, not quite. Um, I was going to send one of these guys, though. And all of those guys are heading over. Yeah, a lot of troops just, you know, cruising around here. Building towers, even. 
I can't remember where all of Eriador's towns are, unfortunately. I think, basically, once this sort of couple reinforcements gets over, so we'll have uh, two more, three more, so that's, you know, over half a stack here, um, plus all these guys once I take Pickkarin. Oh, I think the dwarves, yeah. To the south, the dwarves have this land, I think. That's the color. So, yeah, we've got to be a little bit careful. Actually, we are at war with them. Maybe I should just focus on them early on. I don't know how well we'll do against dwarves, honestly. Uh, I mean, this is our troll army. That helps a little bit, right? Yeah. Trollins. Trollin. I don't know. One more turn. We'll at least get to Pit Karanta. Huh, dwarves. Yeah. Should I... I guess, yeah, that'll be the question for the end of this episode. Should I just try to take the dwarves, like the Blue Mountain Dwarves specifically? Should I rush that way? Uh, or should I try to take Eriador? Eriador will be much easier, and I'm much more confident we can win. I'm not reinforcing. You guys are retarded. It's not happening. That's not a good strategy for orcs. Taking over settlements. Why don't you give us a mission to take stuff over? That would be smart. Wow, we've already finished building everywhere too. Like this, there's, there's not much else to do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take Pit Karanta, kind of a funny name, and we're gonna, yeah, dwarves. They're probably coming for us already. Uh, and they're so much stronger than our units. Ah, even this little army, I don't know how we're gonna deal with. All right, well, my uh, my current line of thinking is probably should um plan out something to do with the dwarves right away. As much as I'd like to go kill the the hobbits and stuff right now, I kind of think maybe we should focus on the dwarves uh, and the western dwarves first. Um, but you're free, feel free to leave suggestions. You know, Maybe someone's got a more experience playing as the orcs than I do. I've actually got pretty good vision there from that, that one army. Um, where are you guys going? Yeah, you just keep trying to catch up. You'll catch up eventually, maybe. Um, got more reinforcements here. I think what I'll do is I'll try to... I'll start leaving a few in Gundabad, just in case it gets attacked. Lots of archers, yay. Um, it's more likely the dwarves will attack from this side as well, anyway. Uh, the other faction of dwarves. You know what I mean. Ah, wargs! Definitely want those. More wargs. Alright, so... um. This is another easy battle, and they'll actually, you know what I'll do, because they can only hold out for two turns, I'll just let them do that again anyway. That seems pretty easy. Oh yeah, let's do that. This little bit longer episode, but I would like to take the last rebel settlement. But yeah, the question definitely is, focus on dwarves, attack Eriador, oh there, they're coming for us. <laughs> they're vicious. Uh, vicious dwarves. Maybe they're gonna, they're gonna answer the question for us already. Do we have any choice but to fight the dwarves? So yeah, but I would like, I definitely appreciate any strategies for um, dealing with elves, especially. I don't know, because they've got such great archers. Like, where is it? I'm sure there is a settlement in here somewhere. Apparently I can't find it. Huh. Oh well, my, my, my scout will find it eventually. Okay, we're making enough money. Got some more wargs. Lorien and Rune, that's fine. Get ready for fighting. Almost caught up. Um, yeah, those guys are going to surrender probably next turn, unless the dwarves kill us, which is you know, always possible. We're going to keep sending reinforcements over, because I'm a little bit concerned about that dwarf army. High elves, yeah, whatever. We'll keep sending this guy along this way, because... Uh, yeah, dwarves, right? All right. Well, I think. Well, let's. You're probably dying to know what's going to happen. Let's show you what happens. <laughs> One more end turn. I just can't give it up. <laughs> I want to know what's coming. <laughs> we, we got attacked by the dwarves. All right. Well, I'm going to save this battle for next episode because uh, we're already at over 30 minutes. Now it says we've got an advantage. I'm not so sure. I'm, that means I'm gonna have to record another one right away too. Oh well, what do they got? Uh, no archers or anything, but uh, oh, axe throwers, missiles. Yeah, but we want to keep our dwarves or our our trolls away from them.
Well, join me back next episode for an exciting dwarf battle. Uh, I hope we win and don't lose our dwarves or our trolls and our wargs. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and uh, I guess I'll see you again for another. I take it back. I'm not taking a break. I have to record one more. So, <laughs> see you guys next time.